Hey folks, Adam here. Okay, some easy moves you can do right in your living room with just a simple few pieces of equipment. Taking a Pilates ring or a large pillow between your knees, rotate your legs left to right, holding your shoulders flat to the floor. This is an abdominal move primarily for the oblique abdominals and your hip flexors, but what you're going to try to cultivate is some use of the muscles in your upper back in between and around the shoulder blades and the rotator cuffs by counter rotating the rotation with the use of the floor by way of your arms. I'd say do about 20 total or 10 in each direction or more. Make sure to draw the navel in and keep breathing at a nice even pace. Next you'll hold the knees straight, point your ankles to and from yourself towards the ceiling and back toward you, holding the crunch position off the floor. The third move with the Pilates ring is a hip bridge where you'll hold your hips high off the floor, press the elbows down into the floor, and then squeeze the ring for 20 repetitions. In this position, you will elicit a small stretch towards the neck, which you want to be careful of if you've had neck issues in the past. Just squeezing that ring for 20 reps. Then we're going to place the ring out of the way and take a foam roller. And as you'll see, we're going to lift our hips up off the floor, foam roller behind the lower calf area. And we're going to take that roller back and forth, maintaining the height from the pelvis away from the floor. Pull the roller backward until your feet end up on top of it. This will strengthen the whole posterior chain from underneath the feet, through the back of the legs and into the lower back. Maintain pressure from the arms down into the floor and do a set of roughly 10 to 20 repetitions. Adam Figueroa here with Adam's Apple New York. There'll definitely be more to come. Thanks a lot.